Thanks for joining us. Great to see you again, Nicole. Absolutely. Good to see you as well. Now, first of all, like, how did gold and silver do in this quarter, in the third quarter of the year? Well, they had a very good quarter. Mm -hmm. uh, silver was up about 15 percent, gold 11 percent, while the Dow was only up one and a half percent, and the S&P only 4.7. So, put in perspective. That's it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what did the U.S. Mint make the Kennedy half dollar? Well, for people of my age, you're you're much younger. But uh, on November 22nd, mm -hmm. 1963, President. Kennedy was assassinated. Yes. He is beloved by many. He was our youngest elected president. He was a World War uh, II hero with PT 109, That's wrote a cool. Pulitzer Prize winning book. When he was assassinated, there was a public outcry for a commemorative coin. Mm -hmm. And they decided between the president, Congress, and the U.S. Mint to work quickly to make the Kennedy half dollar in 90% silver. Wow, okay. Now, was there any controversy surrounding that decision? Well, the designer was Gilroy Roberts, and Jacqueline Kennedy approved the design, which was much like the presidential medal that was made, mm -hmm. but his initials, GR, looked like a hammer and sickle to some people. So mm -hmm. they thought, oh, this was a communist plot because maybe the Russians were behind assassinating Kennedy. It really? wasn't true at all. It's okay. one of those urban legends. It was the designer's initial, mm -hmm. Gilroy Roberts, at the trunk of the neck on the Kennedy half dollar. Interesting. A little bit of history right yes. there. Now, why did President Johnson have silver removed from the circulating ch uh, chain, uh, co coinage? Well, the Kennedy half dollars were so popular. Mm -hmm. People were lined up to buy them at banks, at stores, for blocks that we made five times the 1964 Kennedy half dollars as the previous year's Franklin halves. Mm -hmm. So we were losing coins out of our circulation. Oh, wow. So okay. Kennedy. The silver deposits in our country were being drawn down, so he said we're going to make clad coinage without silver. Okay. And he said silver coins will never be worth anything. Well, today they're worth 18 times face value. Exactly. Johnson was very wrong. Okay. Now, just to go back to the, Qu the Kennedy real quick. Now, is that something that a lot of people have, or is that like a rare, rare coin now? You know? No, a lot of people have them, but they're circulated. They pulled them out of circulation. Mm -hmm. But 1964 is the only year they're 90 percent silver. Wow. In 1965, they reduced that to 40%, and after 1970, there's no silver. But if someone has a Kennedy half dollar, the silver value is $9 for that half dollar. Oh, wow. That's not bad at all. They should check all. their change. Absolutely. And how has 2013 been for extremely rare coins? Well, it's been an excellent year for rare collectibles, art, and coins, too. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a $10 million coin that sold for 10,000 times what it sold during World War II. Really? We had a $4 gold piece last week sell for two and a half times auction pre-sale estimates. Huge $2.7 million sale. Okay, last question. What museum has the rarest coin for our viewers to see? Well, if you go to Washington, D.C. Okay. and see the National Numismatic Collection at the Smithsonian, it is impressive. The 1849 $20 gold piece is worth $15 million. No yes. one gold. Yes one way. Coin. That's, wow, awesome. All right, well, thanks for joining us. Always cool information. We appreciate it.